All right, first look of uh, the car kind of starting to come here together. As you can see, we got the back bumper fully on with the ground effects, the wing. I didn't get, I'm, I'm not gonna put the Chevrolet or the Cavalier emblem back on here, but I am probably going to do a black little bow tie uh, to accent the back just a little bit. Um, and that'll probably be it for the back. Uh, still, I uh, have my rockers there. I'm going to see if I can get those to work again because they were broken. If not, I will have to try and purchase some new ones. We did get all of the weather stripping and everything now in. Uh, the door uh, beauty trim has not come in yet, but I was able to source a brand new one of those uh, from GM. So that was great. So that'll uh, complete the side there of the door. Uh, like I said, the rocker panels are there. I also was able to source a new uh, Z24 logo. Uh, again, this uh, I wanted to kind of break up the red. So uh, it is a black uh, carbon fiber Z24 logo. And uh, also on the doors, even though I had these painted red, uh, and had, uh, but I'm not 100% sure if I think that I'm gonna keep them. I don't think so, because I would like to break it up with a little bit more black on the side of the car after the, I black out the windows. But the, uh, I think, uh, but I do have some new GM door handles coming in as well. I just have the bumper sitting on there. It's not screwed in or anything right now. Um, but the headlights and stuff are coming with uh, new GM fog lights and uh, aftermarket headlights uh, with a uh, black housing and black chrome to kind of bring the uh, car to a little bit more modernization. And then obviously everything here on the side as well. Was able to put the seats and stuff back in. There's the door cards and stuff right there. So we're going to go ahead and put those back in. Uh, but door panels and everything else is uh, back together. Uh, I'm not going to put the door panels and stuff back on now because it does need speakers. So why put them back on when it needs speakers and I just got to take them back off. And the plastic clips, I don't want to uh, risk breaking them. So it's only a matter of time. Uh, before they uh, mess up and I would like to fix that as well for the uh, ones wondering about the interiors I mentioned in my other parts of the clip or videos I don't know how I'm gonna necessarily do this I'm just kind of filming as I go along uh, but uh, I do have a new GM face coming I am gonna try and source that piece brand new from GM it is a common part that breaks but I'm not a hundred percent sure I've seen them in aftermarket but the plastic doesn't match and that would drive me crazy so I won't do that uh, and then I have a, a double din radio coming for this as well to bring it to a little bit more modernization uh, with Bluetooth so uh, that's that uh, and of course you already know we're gonna get rid of the 4x4 and uh, we got a few other mods and stuff coming uh, as well so it should be uh, a cool little looking pocket rocket uh, as we keep going so as we keep going I'll take you along for the ride all right on today's update we got all the speakers out you see we got the dash apart and the dreaded oh you really can't see with the glare but the dreaded the, the dreaded uh, dash crack. So I was able to order a cover. We're gonna see how it fits. But uh, realistically, there's no way to really fix these shitty dashes because the piece that breaks, as you could see here, it's actually part of the dash. So um, the only real way to get it is to get a separate piece that's a cover. And we'll, I'm, a lot of people uh, like silicone it and glue it in. I'm gonna end up at using some uh, panel bond also got the uh, bezel all taken off and everything, so that's good. Uh, get the new radio and everything ordered. That's coming in, got a nice doubled in touch screen, a uh, little backup camera action, stuff like that. Speakers out, rear deck lid out. Uh, and of, like I said, we're gonna get some visors and get the original mirror back. And, but other than that, everything's good. So now it's just really waiting on parts. Uh, you guys can kind of see with the car together. I don't have the... Uh, uh, side skirts here yet so it definitely looks high and incomplete but uh, and of course like the door moldings and stuff there's the side skirts there and you could see them what I mean is I just really wasn't able to fix them and, and fix them correctly and then I would have to like double side tape and panel bond them all together and it just would have looked like shit and just got scratched when I opened up the door so we're not gonna do that. Definitely it'll help with the appearance when, once we lower it. It'll get rid of the four by four pa uh, package that it came with. The uh, 
now that I'm shooting this on a different day, I kind of like in the red door handles. It does make it a little bit more modern. So, but uh, once it's lowered and uh, once you got the windows blacked out and stuff, it'll look uh, significantly better. Once you put all the other trim and stuff, it's still, you know, definitely coming a long way. So, um, uh, stay tuned for the for the next part. We'll get the uh, engine piece all taken care of and. Uh, just got just got to do a couple little tune-up things and i still think i'm gonna uh, do that twim can cover right there make that uh red give it a nice little uh, eye candy under the hood all right so now we got some speakers here we threw some new six by nines because the ones that came in the car obviously you know they were all shit so and uh some more progress here on the car uh we got the mirrors put in I'm actually, I thought about painting them red, but I think that I'm going to actually leave them black because it does break up a little bit of red on the car. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of liking the uh, red door handles, but we'll see about when the black ones come in if I'll do it. But the black emblems are going to come through, and with the black headlights, that should definitely break up a lot of the red on the car. And of course, as I still keep looking at it, I keep saying that damn 4x4, man, it's just got to go. So... Uh, we got the original speaker brackets from the original 6x9s so that go in the decklid. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start to screw these in and throw these in the back decklid. And uh, I believe the touch screen and the rest of the stereo system should be here tomorrow. So then we can start to put the dashboard back together.